Good morning. Throughout the broad messianic sphere of influence, there is a challenge among many people regarding what to do with the letters of the Apostle Paul. For many, especially those raised in conservative evangelical backgrounds, the letters of the Apostle Paul are Holy Scripture. But even for those of us who hold to a very high view of the biblical canon, there are books of the Bible we understandably give more attention and weight to than others. For myself, the Gospels actually compose the most important books of the Bible because they record the ministry and teachings of Yeshua the Messiah, his challenge to his disciples, his death, burial, and resurrection. I've said this many times. I look at Holy Scripture from Genesis to Revelation as a steady unfolding and revealing of God's salvation historical plan for planet Earth. And so within that, we see things which are more important than other things. We see things which come directly from servants of God, whether they be Moses, whether they be the prophets, whether they be Yeshua, or whether they be the apostles. And then you see other texts of Holy Scripture which record different parts of biblical history, or they record different parts of uh, ancient uh, philosophy and teaching. Yet within those writings, uh, we tend to find the answer which we are seeking for some matter we have in human life. Now, before I left uh, to go to Florida, uh, for just before I left, uh, on our different adventures, I received a copy of this meme, and this meme said this. Before we forget, Paul didn't write scriptures. Paul wrote letters. In his letters, Paul quoted scriptures. And the implication of this is to stress how the Apostle Paul, in writing letters, quoted from the Tanakh, or the Old Testament, which he, as an apostle, treated as Holy Scripture. It continued to remain relevant for him, even with his belief in Yeshua as Israel's Messiah. Now, for many of us in the Messianic community, recognizing that the Tanakh, the Old Testament, was the Bible of Yeshua and the Apostles, is a proverbial no-brainer. But in an unstable Hebrew roots movement, which often does not know what to do with the letters of the Apostle Paul, what this does, and not so subtly, is it detracts from the scriptural and canonical value of Paul's letters. I've said this many times. The simple yet responsible rule of biblical interpretation is to interpret a text for its original audience first and then deduce principles for today. And frequently, the reason why many people within the messianic sphere of influence have challenges with the letters of the Apostle Paul, other than the fact that they often don't dig deep enough into original language or ancient background issues, much less what different scholars and examiners have said, is that they believe, and again, not so subconsciously, Paul is writing directly to them. Paul's letters were written to ancient groups of believers, and his letters are contextually loaded for their ancient circumstances. The same can also be said with many other parts of the Bible as well. There are parts of the Torah which principally concerned an ancient 
Israelite situation in the ancient Near East. The prophets directed their words of admonition and rebuke to ancient Israelite groups, the Northern Kingdom, the Southern Kingdom, often with some kind of historical backdrop in view, which has to be taken into consideration when interpreting their words. The Gospels, they had ancient contextual circumstances to keep in mind. But most people, at least in my experience, out there in the Hebrew roots world, don't want to take the time and dig in a little deeper. And so a statement like this, while, in, while perhaps intending to stress how Paul quoted from the Tanakh, the Old Testament, as scripture, and it continued to remain authoritative for him, something which is often not believed among various contemporary Christian people, can have the result of, well, what do you do with the letters of Paul then? Are they con to be considered scripture by us living today? Uh, indeed, when you look at the famed statement of 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 15 and 16, Peter said this, and regard the patience of our Lord as salvation, just as also our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given to him, wrote to you, as also in all his letters, speaking in them of these things, in which there are some things that are hard to understand, which the untaught and unstable distort, as they do also with the rest of the scriptures to their own destruction. Now, this statement, Paul didn't write scriptures, is incorrect in view of those remarks I just read from 2 Peter chapter 3, which I believe are the genuine statements of the Apostle Peter. By the time 2 Peter was written, Paul's letters had an authoritative status as scripture. But Peter issued a warning that there are statements in them difficult to understand and that unstable people distort and twist them as they do the rest of the scriptures. And unfortunately, in a number of different venues you may be familiar with, people just quote, well, Peter said they're difficult things to understand in Paul, and I don't know what to do with them. And the result tends to be that there's not a huge amount of investigation or critical thinking invested in, well, what do you do with this difficult passage in the letter of Paul? Now, uh, our ministry, Outreach Israel Messianic Apologetics, we have commentaries on all of the Pauline letters, the Epistle to the Hebrews, the Epistle of James, Acts chapter 15. I'm presently working on a Sermon on the Mount commentary. So, I, as a teacher, as an expositor, have worked through a, many of these things myself. And a big part of our ministry is helping to facilitate stability in today's Messianic community. And to be perfectly candid with you, this kind of a meme does not ultimately facilitate stability.